All right, we're talking about sports now. Gerard Moncure out of training camp with nice. the Rams. Hello again. UC Irvine, beautiful day, day one. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy to be here. And, you know, most of the eyes, of course, on number nine, that's Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford. Now, the reason he's here is because the Rams needed to upgrade that position. You only go as far as your quarterback goes, and Sean McVay knows that. That's why he made the move for Matthew Stafford. We talked with someone who knows a little bit about the quarterback position earlier today. Of course, he is former Rams quarterback Vince Ferragamo. He spent a good 45 minutes to an hour signing autographs for the Rams faithful today. I was able to catch up with him, and we spoke about the trade. Matthew Stafford for Jared Goff and what Matthew Stafford is now working on with his new teammates to get in sync to get this offense rolling big time in 2021. Well, it's a relationship building process. You have to get a good feel with the team that you're with and uh, everything's new to him being first year. It's a new system. It's a, it's a new atmosphere, uh, the new colors. Uh, uh, Everything is, is, is going to be different for him, but he, I think he recognizes in the back of his mind that this team has got a great, rich tradition in winning, and so he really will propel himself to play at his best, and that's, that's what it'll take, and for him to do that, it's a team game, so you have to have that, uh, that chemistry with the players, especially receivers, and that's what training camps are for. It's basically for the quarterback and the receivers, so they can get together and start to learn their timing and their routes under heat and under duress. With Cam Akers out now, okay, Obviously, Matt Stafford's a guy that can improvise on the go. But how, does that does this set the offense back any? I know Henderson's going to be in there. We've got some new guys as well. But how much of a loss is Cam Akers? Yeah, Cam Akers was a rising star, you know, especially late in the season. And you saw what he can do. And when you lose a quality back like that, yeah, it does put a damper on your offense somewhat because in Sean McVay's system, the running back is the key along with the quarterback because the play action in the running game is very vital. And so to find that guy that's going to be the go-to guy is, is very important for their offense. So certainly it does hurt a little bit, but, you know, they're, they're optimistic. They, they know they have good talent. They have talent. The young guys coming up, they're going to have to step up and uh, they're going to have to produce. So we are taking a look at one of the hospitality tents right now. The Ram faithful are still here. Players are off the field. They're hanging out, hopefully trying to get an autograph or two. They've enjoyed day one. Had some few, uh, you know, cold beverages. We'll leave it at that. And just enjoying the day. Uh, coming up at 6, we caught up with a couple players, Robert Woods, Daryl Henderson. We will hear from them and have a lot more for you uh, later on. Reporting live from UC Irvine at day one of Rams camp, Gerard Moncure, Fox 11 Sports. Christine, Alex, so, back to you. Gerard, how do fans get to go to that, and can they go another day besides today? Uh, they can. Um, I believe now there's some probable screening that you have to go through. I mean, let me just tell you, myself and producer Rod Cohen, we took COVID tests today oh. to show up here. So I'm sure there's some probable type of screening that you've got to go through, especially being the hospitality tents. But they have a general bleacher section over there. But, uh, you know, tickets are for sale. There's a couple thousand people here. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot more fans here throughout the week, especially on Saturday. That's supposed to be the big day, Christine. Well, we're still working through these changing pandemic times, right? Which you can go to and not. Yeah. All right. We'll see you at 6, Gerard. Thanks.